For this recipe, we're going to be using um, pretzel sticks, almond bark, candy melts, vanilla flavored melting wafers, roasted peanuts, and a crock pot. This is my old crock pot. I'm using it again, so anyhow, it works fine, no problem. We won't be using, we'll be using so many of the pretzels. We won't be using a whole bag. We'll use about a half of a pack of the almond bark. Uh, maybe half of the candy melts. Uh, we pro I don't remember, not quite as many of the uh, melting wafers. And then I think it's three cups. Now, I could not find roasted pecans, uh, roasted peanuts, I'm sorry. I could not find any roasted peanuts anywhere I went today. So I bought the peanuts. I came home, put them in my oven, put them on this sheet, and put them in my oven for about 10 minutes. So that's what we're going to be using. I'm letting these cool down now. So as soon as they cool down, then we'll start putting everything together. Okay, I turned my um, cooker on, and I'm going to put it on low. I had it on warm, and it has warmed up, but the recipe calls to put it, put it on low, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to put in, and, and I'm going to spray just a little bit, just, just a tad. But anyhow, it calls for two pounds of the uh, candy nail. Gonna put that in. It calls for six ounces of the vanilla flavoring melting wafers. We're gonna put that in. And it calls for uh, six ounces of the almond bark. So six ounces is one, just one little uh, part of it. And I went ahead and cut it up. So going to put it all in and we're going to cover it up. Now, the recipe says that it will take it about an hour to an hour and a half to completely melt. So we're going to go ahead while we're waiting on that and we're going to take up some of our pretzels. I'm just going to go ahead and put them back in the same bowl that I have them in. We're gonna break up some of these and uh, we'll put those in there. Uh, the peanuts, I've got them over here. Um, like I say, I could not find the roasted peanuts, so I just came home, looked up the recipe on how to roast them and I put them in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. I felt like 10 minutes was uh, plenty, so uh, they smell roasted, put it that way. So we're going to cut up some of these pretzels. Now when it, when it melts, they say it will take about an hour, hour and a half, and um, come in and stir it, and if it's, uh, if it's melted enough, we'll go ahead and stir uh, our pretzels in here and our peanuts and stir it, stir, stir, I'm, I'm a southerner, stir it good and uh, then we'll have our wax paper ready to start putting them on it uh, and then you know it, it doesn't take them long to cool with almond bark, it doesn't take long so um, real good crock pot recipe i'm gonna be doing several crock pot recipes if you're like me um i'm not a big candy maker but uh i said well if i do it in the crock pot it's got to be pretty well okay so anyhow i am going to do some um recipes bought me a candy thermometer today so that i can do it like it's supposed to be done so I hope you'll join me. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and finish breaking up some of these pretzels and break them that break them in part apart and um anyhow when this completely melts then i'll bring you back and we'll add our pretzels and uh, our peanuts and i'll have our wax paper ready to start putting them down so one tidbit do not walk away from your almond bar i got distracted so you see what happened to mine it needs to be stirred all the time. I've got, I put the rest of all uh, that block of almond bark and some more of the candy morsels. So I put it in my crock pot and I've got it hot. So I don't know how much, uh, we're not probably not going to get to put as many pretzels and as many peanuts. We're just going to have to play it back here because I don't have as much as I started with. So, we're just going to add some to it. Stir it up. See what we got. Okay, we'll add some more peanuts. I walked away, got distracted, thought it would be okay, and I come back, and I couldn't believe what it looked like. I was so upset. But anyhow, I don't know. We might be able to put all of our pretzels in. Let's it just has to be stirred. If you don't, the, the morsels, and the, it, it will just scorch. And I had it on low, but it still got too hot. Get some more peanuts. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna let it cool for just a minute. And then we'll start putting it on our uh, parchment paper. Looks, looks good. Okay, I'm going to let it cool for just a few minutes, and then I'll bring you back, and we'll start putting it on our parchment paper. Okay, I've let my bark cool enough that it won't run when I put it on the paper. So we're going to go ahead and add some to the paper. Now, when you make this, if you don't want as many um, pretzels in it, and you don't want as, so many pecans in it, back off where you only just have a few. And, um, you, you know, you would have more bark. So, this is going to uh, make a pretty big, pretty big batch. So, you know, if you didn't want to make a batch this big, then you might want to just half the recipe because it's it's going to make quite a few pieces of candy. But like I say, if you don't want as many pretzels and pecans in it, then, uh, you know, back off. You don't have to put as many as I put in here. Because this is going to make a pretty big batch full of candy. Actually, I'm probably going to have about two cookie sheets of candy. I have a lot of people that I'm giving candy to.
uh, probably uh, may take it and freeze it. Or I may go ahead and just give the ones that I'm giving candy to, go ahead and give it to them. Going to make quite a few, quite a few pieces of candy. Okay, I picked these um, sprinkle mix up, so we're going to put some sprinkles on them. Do some red ones. Get some green ones. This is easy to do. Just don't. It just has to be stirred. It said on uh, the recipe said to just cover it and let it melt, but it didn't work out that way. So, uh, be sure you stir it. I think I'll put a few blue. Um, use blue for Christmas. Right there. Get some blue ones on. Maybe a few more reds. Pick up the ones that's on the paper and the back. Okay, you have to work with it once it starts on. Um, once it starts cooling down, the almond bark starts on. Um, <coughs> the almond bark starts hardening, so you want to. Oh, uh, get it put down before your almond bark gets too cold. So there we have one tray. I'm going to get a cookie sheet and uh, we'll do another tray. Okay, we got another cookie sheet. Let me go my canvas over. Boy, I mean, this really makes a, a pile of of candy it all depends on how much you are wanting to do for Christmas oh like I had I used what I had left I used the rest of the almond bar I used almost all of the candy nails I used the um, other little pack that I had and let it melt. That one's a little bit too big. But it's going to make... I can't remember how many the recipe said that it would make. I don't remember how many dozen. But it's going to make quite a few. So I'm going to finish putting these down. And when they cool off and we start to take them off of the paper and put them on a plate, then I will bring you back. Our crop box candy is all done. Turned out real good. Hardened up real good. So, anyhow, like I say, when you put it in the... Um, when you put it in the crock pot, stir it. Don't leave it like I did the first that I done. Just keep it stirred till it's enough to put your, uh, till it's melted enough to put your pretzels and your pecans in it. Uh, stir them up good. Put them on your cookie sheet. 
I real I messed them up bad by not stirring them, but I got busy doing something else. But anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed our video on how to make crock pot candy. Hope you will try some. And I hope you have good luck with it. If you enjoyed our video, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up, like. It helps our family. Our sorry, it helps our channel to grow. And I thank you for all the subscribers that we have got. Anyhow, stay tuned. We'll be doing a lot more uh, candy videos for Christmas. So, hope you've enjoyed our video. Thank you.